Hello, my name is Roman Kartsev. I'm the founder of Fitness Transformation System, and I'm a licensed personal trainer and healthcare manager. I just want to uh, demonstrate a workout today that helps you build the most mass, uh, muscle mass. And um, this workout is pretty much designed for people who are what I call them hard gainers. It's for people who are really lean and people who have fast metabolism. Um, uh, pretty much what I did was I combined uh, shoulders, back, and chest all together in one day. And um, I wanna show it to you real quick, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna start with um, dynamic warm-ups. You're just doing uh, arm circles forwards, uh, 15 reps, right? And then you do arm circles backwards, 15 reps, right? And then you do uh, side swings, 15 reps. And then you do arm raises, 15 reps. Uh, this will prevent any injuries, especially if you're lifting heavy weights. Um, so then you wanna start with uh, some uh, chest press. So the first thing you wanna do is um, do an incline, uh, incline uh, chest press. And then you will take a break for about like a minute so I'm not gonna take a lot of breaks because I don't want to make the video too too long, so that you don't get bored, you know, watching this workout. But um, so you want to take a minute break between every set to let your muscles recuperate and rest, so that you have more strength. And the next what you'll do uh, is you're gonna do some uh, regular pull-ups. And then you want to take a minute break. Um, so what you want to do is you want to do about six to eight reps per each set. Um, on the pull-ups and chin-ups, it's going to get harder to do because, you know, some people that can't pull themselves up, um, it's more difficult. So just do as many as you can for pull-ups and chin-ups. And if you want to increase even more muscle for your back and biceps, um, you know, just grab a, a, grab a dumbbell and just hold it with your with your legs or your feet and do pull-ups with, with that, you know? So just like this. You know? So you can always hold a dumbbell when you're doing pull-ups and chin-ups. And the more weight you add to your pull-ups and chin-ups, of course, the bigger muscle you're going to get. Just be careful not to do... Uh, too much weight, not to hold too much weight, because eventually you could tear a muscle, and then you're gonna be out for a long time with the injury, like a, like a strain or a muscle tear, so. The next exercise you're gonna do is um, just a flat bench press. Just lay the back support flat. Then you're gonna take a minute break. So let's say we took already a minute break. And then you're gonna do the reverse pull up, which is, it's the neutral grip. Like, you know, like a, a hammer grip. It's a neutral grip pull up. So, looks something like that. And the next thing you're gonna do is, you're going to do um, a neutral grip chest press.
and then you're going to take a break for a minute and so I'm, I'm using only dumbbells today um, if you don't have access to dumbbells then you could just do push-ups for every chest exercise I described you could just do push-ups instead if you don't have dumbbells so the next exercise is going to be reverse pull-up or chin-up Reverse pull up and chin up is the same. And then you're going to rest. And then you're going to um, do some sh uh, standing shoulder presses. So the idea is if you kind of catching what I'm doing is uh, after doing a set of back or pull-ups or biceps, I'm doing a set of chest or shoulders. So when you're working one side, the other side is, is, is working as well. It's a push and pull effect. So you want to keep going back and forth between chest and back and shoulders um, and pull-ups and chin-ups and back and forth just kind of... Um, you're just going back and forth between them. So then you'll do another set of pull-ups. And then you'll do um, uh, neutral grip pull-ups. I'm sorry, neutral grip shoulder presses. And then you'll, you'll rest and you'll do some reverse pull-ups again. And then you could do some dips. So that's pretty much what the best muscle building workout is. You just mix uh, shoulders, chest, and back all on the same day. And then the next day you could take a day off or just do some cardio and some abs. And that's, that's the best thing to hit your uh, upper body all in one day. So that way you get more muscle building from shoulders, chest, back all on the same day. Because they are kind of connected to each other. So if you hit them all at once in one day, they're all going to get bigger, and then it's going to make you look bigger. Um, and then the legs will be complete separate, will be done on a separate day, like on a different day, you know, maybe two days later uh, when you cool off and stuff. And that's really how to gain the most muscle building for us skinny guys, you know. Well, thank you for watching. I hope this helps, and everyone take care.